The overall goal of this procedure is to treat recurrent and refractory Clostridium difficile infections with high therapeutic success by transferring donor stool to the colon of patients during a colonoscopy. This is accomplished through careful selection of recipients and donors using thorough screening tests for both parties. In preparation for the colonoscopy, the recipient must lavage their bowels and the donor's stool is blended with normal saline and strained to make a slurry. The fecal slurry is then distributed evenly in the colon of the recipient via a standard colonoscopy and for the majority of the patients, the symptoms caused by the Clostridium difficile infection resolve. Visual demonstration of this method is essential to understanding the various steps of the procedure as well as troubleshooting more difficult aspects of the procedure. Generally, individuals new to this method may struggle with stool preparation and processing. However, it is a simple process that can be performed in most endoscopy centers. Before undertaking these procedures, it is important to consult the hospital's infection control department. Details on candidate identification, stool donor selection, and screening are all provided in the text protocol. In the endoscopy room, prepare the sample wearing the appropriate protective garments. If a donor provides multiple stool samples, select the freshest sample. Liquid stool must be discarded. The workspace should have an 18-inch or larger splash zone. Clean the work area with a disinfectant and then cover it with a disposable...